Good morning, everybody. RV living with the geezer. And there's my little buddy, uh, the little instigator, Dixie. And uh, Hank is inside. <laughs> Hank, we have trouble getting Hank out of the house. It's been so hot that uh, Hank's got a spot in there that in the sunroom that he lays in. And uh, if he's laying down, you're not going to get him up. And he is very stubborn when it goes to comes to going outside. Uh, it, finally, he'll have to use the restroom and he'll go to the door. But uh, I mean, that'll be this like this afternoon, and he's been in all night. He must have a he must have a super duper bladder on him, you know. That's my son's RV. For some of you new guys, if I have any new ones, the. Uh, my, since I, I knew it happened, but since my I moved back up here, my views and my subscriber count is sort of, uh, views have gone down, subscriber count sort of leveled off, so, but uh, I, knew, I, I knew that was coming. Everybody likes that West Texas scenery, I guess. But, uh, I think it might be New Mexico for next summer. Whole new adventure. I've been out there many times, but uh yeah just head head a different direction this this next summer and it'll be fun it'll be uh i'm gonna get that pop-up camper and uh i'm really gonna if you want to see minimalism you're gonna see it at its best this next summer in fact i'm gonna start doing a little uh i got the urge it usually hits me in the fall time to uh <clears throat> cut back on stuff you know i just looked around my trailer see that that's where i live full time okay it's 23 feet and it uh you collect so much stuff without even thinking about it i looked around the other day i said you got so much stuff in here that you really don't really use you know i try to donate it to uh thrift stores you know for charity charity type thrift stores not for ones that make profit but uh yeah we're just chilling here at the house today my son ran into the store for something and uh sunday morning he's in a barbecue we're so, sort of celebrating him and i had both uh, y'all that watch me regular we both had our birthdays thursday same day so but we're gonna barbecue today and watch a cowboy game and uh, I just wanted to touch base and into the week, into this week, I'm going to be going down to Comfort, Texas. And uh, I'm only going to be there a couple days. A couple of viewers out there that live in the San Antonio area had contacted me. Look at Dixie down in that backfield down there. She's got to go. There she goes. She's after something. But... Uh, had contacted me about getting together, and I'm only going to, I'm really on a tight schedule. Uh, I'm going to go down there Friday, visit with my good buddy Jim, and I'm going down there for him and his wife Shirley's 50th wedding anniversary, which is Saturday afternoon. And Saturday morning, I'm going into Bernie and visit with my 87-year-old best friend that I have left, Gene. He's in a cook his world famous chicken wings for me and uh yeah yeah so i mean i'm on and then sunday i gotta come back because stephanie is going to uh uh nashville for a business on monday and i need to be here to haul the kids around so i, I need to be back monday so i'm only going to be there a day and a half so uh cram a lot of this thing into a short time but I'm looking forward to seeing both my old buddies Jim and Gene I met them both in 1978 just about the same time it's funny how the Lord gets people together like that that are supposed to supposed to meet you know but uh, yeah so but I'm gonna do a lot of videos driving videos on the way down there and the way back of uh, the towns that I passed through. So that ought to be pretty cool. 
And then when I get back up here, I need to uh, take a trip over to Mineral Wells uh, selfishly to hit Woody's for a burger. And uh, But I want to do the, a video of the... Well, I want to do one video of the progress on the uh, Baker Hotel that they're renovating. And then I'm going to do a video uh, on the Vietnam War Museum. Check my, uh, I did a video years ago on that. It was just in a little trailer, though. They built a big old nice building now, and they got a lot of outside uh, uh, the vehicles and stuff sitting around outside. If you're ever in Mineral Wells, Texas, go by there. It's a, If you're interested in that, uh, go by there and check it out. Duh. Here she comes. She's coming back. So, yeah. Oh, she's got to investigate everything. Yeah. Dixie's, uh, Dixie is, uh, into it. <laughs> Here's a zip line. Girl's zip line. I haven't seen it in a while. Well, it's been so daggum hot, but, uh, actually, we're supposed to get storms tomorrow. And, uh, the, said the, Temperatures for this next week are going to be 8 to 10 degrees cooler on both ends. So I'm ready for that. And uh, as you can see, I got that electric pole saw, but I haven't, uh, I haven't trimmed my limbs yet because it's just been too hot. I just, I just need to get some limbs trimmed back off this tree so it doesn't come crashing down and put a hole in my in the casa de geezer and uh and uh worse than that a hole in the geezer you know so i need to get that done all right guys well be talking at you later i just wanted to tell you about some plans coming up i guess that'll about do it for today and uh just uh hope everybody's doing well and Keep your heads up and stay positive. Don't let that negativity get in between your ears. It's easy to do. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That uh, everybody out there is trying to sway you in some one direction or another. That uh, just stand your ground. Stay blessed. There she goes. Look. She's on a mission, you know, always. <laughs> oh, heading for the water. That's we got that blue tub over there is full of water for them. And and she has to get in there and go swimming, and that's their what they drink out of. So we ch we're changing it all the time. Dixie gets in there and d takes a bath. <laughs> anyway, stay blessed, stay positive, keep your health. We'll be talking at you later, guys. Beautiful day, North Texas. Talk to you later. Adios. Bye-bye.